she's here with us live. First time with us inside of Level 2. We want to say good morning, good night to Cece. Um, while my song was playing, I was like, oh gosh, I had to be on my best behavior. People, she said, no, 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 girl. You, you just loose. You, you know. Behave, oh, yeah. well, maybe you know Miss Mitten Cece. I've met Cece <laughs> Cece a good while now. And I know she can misbehave. She can misbehave. She can. Is that so? She can. So you're privy to that information, Clyde? I know a little something, something. <laughs> good morning, Sissy. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm fine. And you? Right. I'm very good. Now I'm hearing you. Loud and clear. Nice. So, what's been going on with you, Sissy? Well, right now, all you see in my hair. So, that means I'm back. Right. right? Yeah. Um, last year, I take a break. Everybody take a little rest. Why? 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 Well, why? My case is kind of different because I have a daughter now. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Congrats. Um, Clyde probably talking about 2010. Yeah, about that. <laughs> shame. A real shame, right? It's five years later. Actually, mm-hmm. I took a rest in 2012. I had my daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, I took a rest in 2013. I took a rest in 2014. <laughs> right? I mean, honestly, yeah, I needed some time for myself. Right. And I say, you know what? It's here to come back out. And this year, I'm back. Right. And I'm back with a bang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us why this year, though. I mean, I know you said you took a break and, mm-hmm. and you know, what, what you was getting the vibes, you hear the music. What was inspirational to you? Well, to, to be honest, when you take a break, it has really set your back, eh? Because, you know, when you take a break and you come in, you have to come strong. strong like people would say, you have to come with a monster too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, see, you can't hit and miss, you know, you have to hit. And, you know, it is just be real pressure. Yeah. So, I say, you know what? I fed up. No more breaks. I ain't taking a break. I could be pregnant like um, Fian yes. uh, with my belly on the stage. On the stage, right. You understand? Right. So, yeah. Um, I ended up meeting up with Trini Barbie. I don't know if you guys know. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And she sang this song for me and I fell in love with this song. It's totally different from what people will hear. People know me as you rude girl. Mm-hmm. Sissy come to wine. She mm-hmm. steaming. Man behind. She. Right. So this right. one was more a sing-along, sweet melody, sweet vibes. I get to sing more. Right. And I say, you know what? How to do this song. Mm. I come out. How to do this song. It's different. It's a risk. Because yeah. some people might actually love it. Some people might, nah, Sissy, that's Well, I mean, you know, you. in the business, that's what it is. Eh? You would mm. never get 100% people behind. Some people would like it. Some people might like it. Exactly. Yeah, once, but right. once you are comfortable, comfortable with it, uh-huh. that is the, the main deal with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so tell us um, some background information on it. Who wrote it? Who produced it? Well, it was written by Trini Barbie. Yeah. Her name Her. is Sandra Samara. She says, say Trini Barbie, because people don't know about her real Her real name. name. Yeah. Yeah. And it was produced by Samuel Jack from Studio 21. All right, all right. All right, all right. Mm. So... Is this going to be the only thing we're going to be hearing from you since you're back with a bang now, Miss oh, Cece? Unfortunately, it is the only <laughs> song, right? I mean, everybody now here, and it's for the first time because everybody likes Cece, you come out with the next song, supposed to do a power. But looking at this season, it's like... It's very, it's very short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. listening to the airwaves, you yeah. know, you, as an artist in the business, a couple of years now, I've been singing in the industry for eight years. You could tell, okay, CC is it time to do this song? This song had to be like real banging, real monster to really yeah, stand yeah, up. Yeah, like yeah, some yeah. people in the industry will give me that advice. CC, here, what's going on? Hold back that song. Hold it back. Bust right. it after Carnival. X, Y, Z. I said, all right, right, cool, no problem. So they said, I'll pull back and I'll just push this song right. to the best of my ability. So tell us something, Cece, you mentioned it's been eight years that you're in the business. Mm-hmm. What are some of the experiences that you can let us know about uh, as a female coming into this thing for the eight years that you've been here? Wow. And we want the real story, eh? <laughs> we want the real story. <laughs> right. Ooh, well, you know, I can't give it detail for detail, but mm. it's not a you easy. You call names, but I mean, what? situations would be nice. <laughs> I call if I get, why? I just call in sometimes. I just get real bad up after, but I ain't going to go down that route. To be honest, as a female artist, you really have to love your music. You have to be passionate about it. Mm-hmm. And you have to be in it. Like I said to et and interview, they asked me the same question. You seriously have to be in it from your heart. You just can't be in it for all the wrong reasons, all the right reasons. And, and honestly, you have to be persistent. It's not easy, because trust me, DJs and them will burn you out. You come with a crap song, they're burning you out real gen. Right. They say, here yeah, we're going on. See, see that song, it ain't cutting sandwiches. Yes. Right? If you have a good <laughs> tune, they would give you the love, love. that you need. Mm-hmm. And trust me, promotion, you have to promote your song, you have to market yourself. You can't lie down on it. Yeah. Right. yeah. And uh, right now, to be honest, at the moment, I don't have a manager. Mm-hmm. And this year has been the year, toughest year for me because I am pushing my music as an artist. Yes. So, right. right? Right. So, for artists who are managers, don't expect your manager to do all the work. You yeah. have to go there, you have to go to radio stations, you have to blaze up 
DJs on the WhatsApp, like myself. Every yeah. time I see them come on, you say, hey, play my song now, please. Right, show me right, some love, you right, understand? You right. know? Honestly, you had to push it. Right, right. And I do a lot with my song right now, and I get a really good feedback. That's Fantastic. Great. What have you seen some females um, get into for the wrong reasons? And go down the wrong road. Uh, I am she's, she's, she's dead. Dead. Oh, 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 you, oh, you, oh, you didn't get the memo. <laughs> I realized you didn't get the memo. Oh God, I really what? was. I'm not gonna shit at all. That's a little that's inside. Yeah, that's some, a little some inside. Some personal, you know, your personal from, experience from um, seeing other females. But I know some and, female artists will actually put themselves with certain people to reach places. Okay. Playing some bad right. manners. Right. You understand? And they think, well, okay, I go you know, and friend with this one, and I go and friend with that one, and they're disrespecting themselves. Yeah. And, and they're disrespecting the art form and making it bad for the females. Exactly. Right. And together with your rap. You understand yeah. from I mean a lot of people climb the ladder and they did a lot of wrong doing yeah. to get yeah. there. Yeah. Or like Sissy no, I work in my way up. I don't care if it take me fifteen years. Right. Mm-hmm. right. I will reach by the grace of God. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. So <laughs> with that said, give us some advice for the younger ones who want to come into this thing because you know it's extremely saturated. Everybody wants to be a superstar, everybody loves the soccer thing. Mm-hmm. What advice do you have for the females especially coming into it? Oh, females, 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 respect yourself, love yourself first. Learn the science, right? <laughs> I like how you put that to Learn the science. And, that, and, and, and that's the important thing. A lot of people don't know the science, and especially in, the, in your business mm-hmm. and DJ business. We'll put it on side to side. Mm-hmm. But there is a science. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. And once, mm-hmm. you, and once you don't know it, you're going to be lost it and you'll get caught up in mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. 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 yeah. mm-hmm. And trust me, I've from when I started, I've met some fraud, some stick in the back. That's right. Mm-hmm. I've been through it. Yeah, I pay yeah, some yeah. of my dues. People will sell loot, they will do this. Yeah, will... and it's like nothing. I have people saying, hey, we're going to it's fat we sing and thing but girl mm. yeah what's going on eh? this is a free thing yeah. you ain't getting paid for it and again money yeah so we really had to be on top of your game. so you had to be careful you had to be careful I honestly believe in trusting God first mm-hmm. you can't really trust people in the industry mm. not everybody is your friend you That's would right. lose family you would lose close friends on the way up but any day your true friends will always stand with you and they will give you proper advice and encourage you you understand just keep your family close keep your friends and once them believe in you trust me and make it you ought to believe in yourself first excellent you understand excellent don't tell advice. no don't don't care what nobody <laughs> say if you tell it hey cc you'll never make it you'll say well boy unless your name is god let me prove you wrong exactly well with that said the floor is yours to introduce your track for us this morning t and t hey cc is <laughs> in the house right and this tune is Carnival Day. Yeah, we're going on. You're tripping on the road behind the truck. You're whining. You're singing. You're dancing. The school vibes, right? You don't know. Boom. You can do whatever you feel like. Don't worry. Her story will never end. Mm-hmm. Dance if you feel too. Sing if you feel too. Whine if you feel too. Sister, sister. It's a with her brand new track this morning. I, I like it live. I'm, I'm liking her vocals. Yeah, yeah, hey, definitely. I'm on this right now. <laughs> it's fine, <sir. laughs> Yes, I know. I remember when you came in, you were stuffling, yeah, and it's that yeah. season too, eh? Yeah, boy. So, all right, looking forward 2016 and beyond. Tell us what we can look forward from CC. Oh, boy, I couldn't wait for this part. Well, you know. It is honestly you know when you're getting somewhere and people are really feeling you and loving your music, yeah, right? Yeah. I've been seriously terribly busy. Today I have a children's show to do wow. mm-hmm. in Mount Lambert this evening. Um, tomorrow on the pavement down the road, you call him. Right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> and Friday, from this Friday, I'm starting a talk. It's called Music or Die Trying. That's my quote words, okay. right? Okay. Um, I have a couple of artists on board. I have Colonel Roberts, Devon Matthews, um, Cassie, Crazy, Super Blue. And what I'm basically doing, every Friday, I hop in from bar to bar just to push myself my music right. and the other artists right. interested. So it's almost like a, a union now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, artists actually interested. They say, hey, I say, yeah, we're going on. Sissy pushing through music. I go from bar to bar. 
Fully on board. Can everyone write to CBD? Once we are available, we come in through. Right. So this Friday, I'm going to Earth Bar for 8 p.m. Yeah. I'm doing That's a from right Belmont. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm from Belmont. Pick up Belmont. Born yeah. and growing Belmont. So yeah. I'm doing two bars in Belmont, so Ranso Corner. And then I'm doing Bobby's Bar. Indigo. Indigo. Right. Yeah. And then every other Friday will be the same thing. And Saturday is my music video. Okay. Hey. Oh, yeah. So, hey. so tell us, you have any concept already behind the, the music video? Well, yes. Actually, I have my idea as to how I want my music videos done. Right. And big up to Keith. Keith will be doing it. Keith mm-hmm. Guevara. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It's like every carnival baby. How you prepare yourself every year for carnival. Right. Okay. My idols be on full pump fest, right? <laughs> yes. It's from Juve morning to Trini morning, whichever band you're playing with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Run yeah. home, still drunk, babe. <laughs> Flip it here, thing. Pour on your bra, <laughs> pour on your panties, stock ends, you run, find your band. After that, it's what Tuesday, full costume, mm-hmm. and it's crossing the state. Yeah. So basically, I want to follow that storyline as to how everybody is prepared itself for Carnival uh, Day. Because right, right, the music right. is Carnival Day, it's my time to yeah, shine. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So yeah, that's basically a costume in, Juve vibes. I love kids as well. Right. Right. So right. today, actually, I'm doing a little small clipping at this show. So okay. we'll have a little bit of everything yeah. kids, me performing, and everything. Right. Mm. You said you had a daughter, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah Mia. So. Tell us, if your daughter decided a little later on in life and she said, Mommy, I want to get into the soccer thing, how would you feel about that? Well, boy, no question. Ask, ask, honestly, I think she would be telling me that she wouldn't be asking me right. that because okay. she, at the age of three, yeah. me, I probably, I think, my stepdad, and she's listening at the moment, Right. she know the song word for word. And she always dances. Well, it's around in her, so she have, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she, she could away. dance. Right, right. <laughs> well, you have right. a dance in the making one time already. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. So, you know, my daughter, honestly, following my footsteps. So. Yes. Obviously, I have to ground her and shield her with my little cut lash. <laughs> <laughs> and everything, you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. CC, social media, where can we find you? Okay, Facebook. You can find me at Crystal CC Charles. Mm-hmm. Instagram. I changed my name from CC Loves You to CC Carnival Day 2016, right? CC Carnival Day 2016 yeah, on could, Instagram. Yeah, you could also um, Google it on YouTube as well. Right. CC Carnival Day 2016. Yeah. Um, Twitter is CC Loves You 26. Okay. Yeah. All right. So everything right. is just CC, CC, CC. And if somebody wants to reach you for booking? Well, they could contact 319-0214 for bookings. All right. Excellent. 319-0214. Check. Check. <laughs> CC, we want to thank you so much for passing through with us today mm-hmm. and let us know yep. about your song and, and of course, uh, all the best for the Christmas season and beyond. Thank you so much for having yeah, me. Yeah, man. Nice, nice, nice. Big up. Nice 6.1. Yeah.